Hey guys, and welcome back to The Thing. When we last left off, yeah, we know about CCTV terminals. We found our new friend here, Carter, and uh, he was pretty freaked out, but uh, we managed to heal him up, give him some good stuff, arm him up with a weapon, and uh, yeah, he's agreed to go with us for now. So let's have a little look at this computer, shall we? We're all going crazy. This thing in the ice. I don't know who is human and who isn't. Morale is low, and I don't think our chances are good. Well, speak for yourself, sir, but I have no intention of going quietly into the night. Now, we've got some power. Ah, there's another person hiding in the snow. So, what have we got? Have a body, and oh my, there's the original ice coffin that the thing came from in the film. Very cool. Now, if we zoom in, oh, there it is. there's the code to the door that we're gonna need in a minute. Excellent, cool. Right, come on, Carter. Let's have a little look around, shall we? I hope you're useful, son. You've cost me a med pack. All right, so we grab the flamethrower and some fuel. Ooh. And there's some ammunition here for our assault rifle, which we will... Well, they call it machine gun. It's actually an MP5, but, you know, let's not split too many heads, shall we? Oof. That guy slit his own throat to uh, escape infection, it would seem. Not great. Poor bastard. Anyway, we found ourselves... Ooh. Easy there, tiger. You'll get your chance. Now... So we've got a flamethrower, we've got a pistol. We're going to hold on to our pistol for a while. But we've just managed to pick up a flashlight. And check out the effect of the flashlight. How good is that? Area looks secure. May I remind you that this game is 22 years old. Um, now, obviously, the, this flashlight effect is only available on the Xbox and PC version. But it's really nice. Anyway, let's use our code. Ooh. We've got some gribbly mutants. Blake, where'd you come from? I received some partial transmission from Pierce. It sounded like there was a problem. Shit, you got that right. We got ambushed by these things. I don't know where they came from, man. Everybody lost it. The squad split up. Have you talked to Pierce? I got part of a radio message from him. He said he was at the north section of the base. He was talking some... some medical mumbo shit. He said he wanted to talk to the colonel. The colonel hasn't contacted you? Man, I haven't heard shit from anyone. Let me try my radio. Blake to Colonel Whitley, do you read? Blake to Colonel Whitley, urgent. All right, let's head north and get Pierce. Mm, looks like the radio's out. Could be the weather. Not fantastic. One thing I like about the flashlight is I'm pretty sure it never runs out. It's, um, yeah, pretty good. And it doesn't hurt the game either. All right, let's grab this key off this stiff and let's get moving. So we've got a new friend. Let's get everyone following us. Uh, so Cruz, eh? Cruz doesn't have a weapon. That's not great, to be honest. Let's get him sorted with something. Um, Cruz, you know what, pal? Take the pistol. We'll give you a couple of magazines with it as well. Nothing too crazy. Five magazines. That leaves us with four for ourselves. Cool. Okay. Now, this Xbox does trip out the capture card every now and again. <laughs> or the capture card just doesn't like the Xbox. I'm not really sure why. Anyway, let's get these power grids back online. Or at least turn the power grid off, actually. And, yep. I don't think the guys are following me. It's kind of... That, hate this place. Yeah, look, we all hate this place, all right? Yes, sir. None of us want to be here. Now, dude, if you could be so kind and fiddle with that fuse box, then we can get out of here. Ah, yeah, mate, you're fine. You're laughing. I don't know what, what's the matter with you. Okay. 
Right, now the power is deactivated. But we don't want to go straight to it because there's some things we can get first. Um, we did check this room out back here, didn't we? The fire's all out now. We harvested all that, didn't we? Yeah, we did, we did. Trying to remember what I've done <laughs> in this playthrough and what I've done um, is... Oof, God. I don't know what why it keeps blipping out like that. I may have to do some research. Okay. Ooh, evening. So here we go. Our first encounter with the thing. These are like the basic little scuttler enemies. They're nothing too much to worry about. They go down pretty easily. Ooh, I say that as that one was taking chunks out of me. Tasty little motherfucker. Come on. There we go. Huh? You like that? Okay. Let's get this door opened. We do have company. Grab some magazines for the handgun there. Nice. What else we got? We have some med kits. Grab those. Now, is anybody injured? Carter and Cruz are kind of injured, actually. That's not great. Let's heal these guys up. And if we heal them up, they kind of uh, raises their morale as well. Now we've got some lockers. Let's raid the lockers. We have some nades. At least I think they're nades. I haven't actually used nades yet, I'll be honest. Right. Okay. I think they're just like the standard. Regular grenade, yeah. Okay. Curious. Maybe we'll heave one of those at something in a minute. Cool, let's get the torch going. Nothing in there. Alright, fine. Alright, this place crawls. Let's open the door and let them have it. We can go into this first person naming mode, which is... It's okay. It does the job. Now, you can tell the enemy health by the lock-on reticle. It turns from green to red. Come on. Ooh, evening. Hiding up on the rafters. They kind of remind me almost of head crabs in a way. Is that it? Looks like the boys aren't following me again. Guys? Guys? You... you you do remember how doors work, right? Guys, you seem to be having some difficulty understanding doors. You walk through them. There you go. Ah, that's what I like to see. Some intelligence. I can still hear some griblies. Now, fire in this game. My God, guys. Fire in this game is hyper lethal. But that's okay. We've got an extinguisher. Which we are absolutely going to be making full use of. Cool. Right. So we've turned the power off. We've got our guys with us. Now let's go this way. Because we can find some goodies. And we like our goodies in these horror games. The frame rate does actually hold up quite well. That's one of the another criticism I heard about the PlayStation 2 version. It does suffer oh hello evening sweet cheeks it does suffer with uh, performance problems but you know that was fairly common for the time so we've got another that wasn't bad we've got a med kit another mp5 we could give matey boy um an upgraded weapon to be fair or we could just leave him with a pistol uh you know what Let's take his gun. He's going to be a little bit salty about that. Now, what's here's the weird thing, okay? And this is one thing that I can't quite work out. I don't think that we can take their gun and um, leave them with ammo. Or we can't take their ammo and leave them with a the gun. You have to take the whole lot off them. So you can't request ammo from someone. You can give them ammo, but you can't request it back, which is curious. Right, let's give him a couple magazines. There we go. All right. Okay. He should be fairly happy now. I've given him everything he wants. Okay, cool. 
Let's head this way. Yes, it is cold as shit. We know it's cold as shit. That's fine. Let's go top up our cooling meter and head this way. You all right over there, boys? You good? Good. Now we can finally get through this electric fence. Hopefully we can find some more ammo to distribute amongst ourselves because that's not much. We've only got a couple of magazines each. And although they're 50 round mags, you do tear through them. Right, killing thing beasts. I like the way it says that, killing thing beasts. So as you have already experienced, the very small thing beasts can easily be dealt with using normal weaponry. Yeah, that's unique to the game, I'm pretty sure. In the film, fire was the only thing. However, any other forms of the thing require a two-stage attack. Firstly, you will need to use normal weapons to reduce its health. The thing's health is shown by the color of the auto-aiming target with the red representing the lowest level of health. Once the thing beast is on minimal health, move in with a flamethrower to finish it off. Only fire can actually kill these thing beasts. So make sure to look out for incendiary weapons and keep a good stock on you at all times. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can only do so much, but we'll do what we can. Anyway, let's continue trying to rescue Alpha Team. I mean, I suppose we found two of them already, so that's good. Carter and Cruz. Good to have you lads on board. Well, this looks gribbly. Can go in here. Evening! Little shitty bastards. Careful, guys. I'm going to be very sparing with my ammo because those two guys are a little bit more stocked than I am. Okay. Let's hit up a save point. Sure. Drop a save. And then, ooh, there's another fire extinguisher there as well. Seems like we may as well take it. Okay, so we've got a door. We've got something that way. We've got something that way and something this way. Let's go take a little sneaky walk out here. Looks like we've got a single solitary building. Ooh, evening. Something is exploding behind. Come on, guys. You should be able to handle it yourselves. I believe if you don't fire at all, I might actually swap up to my pistol. I believe if you don't fire your weapon, I need an engineer. Uh, they will start distrusting you. And quite rightly so, to be honest. There's a package there. I'm not sure what's going on with that. All right, let's take a little peek inside. Ooh. There's a fire around the grenades. That doesn't seem like a... A, a thing that you would want. Another flamethrower. Sure, I guess. Um, now, the UI for this game as well is actually quite nice. It's, you know, a bit weird that left and right on the D-pad uh, actually switches between your um, secondary items and up and down on the D-pad does your guns. It works really quite nicely. Anyway, let's put all this shit out. And what were those? I'm guessing they were ammo. Right. Now, because that's yellow, I think that means you can't pick up any more. So, only three fire extinguishers. That's cool. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to be carrying more than one, let alone three. All right. Looks like the idiots are here. Now, the handgun... Oh, God. The handgun is better than you would think. But I'm guessing it's only better against these little buggers. I haven't had the nerve to try it against anything stronger. Now, it's also worth mentioning that um, if you reload your gun, you throw away the uh, spare ammo that is left in the magazine. So you, when you replace the whole mag, you replace the whole mag. Right. Let's try a nade. Oof. All right. That was kind of cool, I guess. 
Right, well, we can't go in here because the door's fragged, but we can get our engineer friend to bust us in. Yes, Come on, Carter, get it done. Let's get out of this freezing cold. Come on. There we go. Now, let's go take a look inside. Well, this doesn't look promising. Got some spare boots if anyone needs them. Okay. Hold it. Pierce, it's Blake. It's okay. Put your weapon down. No way. You're infected just like all the others. I'm not. Your word ain't shit, Gavin. I found a report that says the only way to prove you're not one of those things is through a blood test. Now, there's a medical kit near the kennel. You go get it and come back here, and I'll watch you do the test. Hmm. Near the kennel? That's no good. Well, originally they wanted this game to have a open world sort of style to it. But apparently that was too difficult um, to implement in time. So we must grab the kennel key. So he thinks we're infected. Hmm. Well, maybe it is him who is infected. However, considering he wants us to go and, you know, get tested out, I think, I think we'll trust him for now. Let's go to the kennels, because, to be honest, I don't really want him waving a flamethrower in my face. Probably not a good time, if I'm honest. So, to the kennels. Hopefully we can find some lootables here as well. We're probably going to find some more of those little bastards. But that's okay. Oh, yep. Little chickens. Chicken things. I'm shooting my friends. Oh, that was bad. I think I shot my friends a few times there. Which, you know, let's try and not make a habit of it. Whoa! The cold is killing you. The freaking fire nearly killed me. I'm not sure if these extinguishers actually ever run out. I don't know. Get a med kit. And I'm not 100% sure. If we ever find things in... Oh, we do find things in boxes. Oh, how interesting. Okay. We're learning stuff here, guys. Right, let's go take a walk over here. Try and survive the biting cold. Evening, lad. So do we find things in these bigger boxes? Okay, so they only take one bullet each. So... Ah, but you can shoot the bottom one. Cruz, you're kind of in my face, brother. Right, not bad. Okay, so it is literally just the wooden ones that we can bust open. That's good. Ooh. Good lord. The walls, they crawl. Now the walls are bleeding. <laughs> so here are the blood test hypos. The blood test hypo you recently picked up is specifically designed to expose the virus uh, entity when it exists in hum a human host. You can use these to make sure a squad member is really human. Also, to prove to your squad that you're not infected, to boost their trust. To use a blood test hypo on a squad member, simply equip it and then approach him. Yeah, it's the same as anything else. Um, yeah, but we do have to be precious with these because these are, the, these are extremely rare. Anyway, let's continue. Let's go back inside that shack and warm up. I'm not sure how I... What I think about this uh, mechanic, to be honest, this, this cooling mechanic, it's fine, but it seems a little bit too easy to, um, you know, just walk back inside somewhere for a few seconds and everything's gravy. I guess we can't destroy those boxes either. All right, that's fine. Uh, looks like we need an... Oh, easy there, buddy. Gurging your guts up. You're a, you're a special forces medic. You must have seen similar stuff before. And if you could start working on that. All right. Thank you. Ooh. I guess this guy was full of thing. 
That's not great. Hopefully whatever's inside here was worth it. So what do we have inside here? I don't think your um, men can freeze to death. You can. Look, dude. You, you are in the way here. So we have some pistol ammunition. Get topped up with that. And plenty of SMG ammo as well. We'll take that too. Okay, cool. Oh, we got thing. We got... Oh, mate. I think our friend just lit me the fuck up then. Bit rude. Now, it's worth noting as well that whilst you go into first person mode you can't really move you can kind of lean and step around but you can't really move it's not super useful and on top of everything else as well you do lose the ability um to use auto aim which yeah not really oh look at the dogs oof that's that's a sorry sight uh oh We've always got company. Right, if you two could take care of them, that'd be great. But do you see what I mean? Um, your squad mates are actually genuinely pretty good. Like, you can rely on them to get things done. Which is rare for a, you know, a video game. Anyway, now we've got the kits to prove ourselves. Let's head back and see if we can't satisfy our friend. Might as well take advantage of the save kit whilst we're here. Save kit? Yes, the save kit. We're going to call it the save kit from now on. Now, as I said before, I have brightened the game up because it is brutally dark. Uh, and I, I hope it's okay. Right, Milado. Where's the kit? Uh, the kit. What the shit are you trying to pull anyway? The kit is in my pocket, mate. It's right here. Somewhere. How many do we have? Do we not? We must. We must have picked it up. Did I not? No, I did. We've only got one. Right. I was going to say. All right. Here we go. And we failed the mission. Because we used it. Because I was too close to him. Son of a... Alright, one second, guys. <laughs> well, this is fun. Um, I, I get the feeling I, I might be the thing. I mean, it's certainly possible. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let me try and reload the game. See if that fixes it. Uh, guys, it, it it it's it's not fixing it. Um, I <laughs> okay. So I've reloaded the game like three times, and maybe it'll fix itself. I I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna have to roll with it. I haven't read anything about this sort of bug before, so oops, I guess. Right. Anyway, let's. Use the blood test kit. And I guess we're going to be using it on ourselves. Um, if I can remember how to use it on myself. Uh, ah, use on self, X. Oh, there we go. We've got all of our bits back. Why does that not work? Hang on, guys. There's something going on here. Okay, so we've still got the weird kind of view, but let's see if we can actually use this hypo now. But maybe we just need it equipped. Can we talk to him? Okay. Oh. Nope. 
Hmm, how does this work then? So he wanted us to do the hypo thing. Do we stand in front of him? Like, I didn't have any issues with this before. But I also don't think that I had to do this. Because it goes into a cutscene. Yeah. Okay. One second. Okay, so I did a dumb. I didn't pick up all of the kits. Son of a bitch. Right, let's give it a save. And now hopefully, everything should be all gravy. All right. There we go. Got the kit? Good. The report said the hypo contains a chemical that reacts with blood. Do it. We'll soon know, one way or another. Now I'm gonna show you what I already know. All right. Now I'm gonna show you what I already know. I think that line's from the Maybe film. Will get us out of this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh-oh. We got a bad one. Right, let's go kill this dude. Oh, wait, that's both of them? Are the thing mutants? Not fantastic. Not gonna lie. That's pretty bad. Right, they're on like zero health now. Let's get the flamethrower out. Come on, you fucking crab clawed son of a bitch. Right, there's one of them dead. Right, come to daddy. All right, he's down. We can grab all of their stuff. So all along, our friend was a dirty, stinking thing monster, I guess. That's not great. So Pierce trusts us completely because, well, we're, we're obviously not a mutant. Um, let's take a look at his stuff. So he's got a flamethrower. Um, but that's like all he's got though. So I guess we're going to keep him with that for now. Right, but you can come with right. me. Right. Let's get out of here. That was a bit interesting. So those guys were things all along, I guess. Sneaking and creeping with us. Bastards. Pierce! I guess you Pierce! can't trust anyone. God damn it. Yeah. Pierce must have got lost behind me somewhere. Hmm. That's sus. Oh shit. Is that you? Oh man, am I glad to see you? Goddamn son of a bitch. Yeah, it's me, you jackass. Now let's get inside. What the hell happened? Look, man, me and Williams were tracking this weird animal through the base, and we lost him in a storm, and then we ran into a Swede. Norwegian. Yeah, the Norwegian guy. Well, he started shouting and attacking me, and I started chasing him, and I lost him in the storm. What about Williams? I lost him too. Sus. Christ. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Uh, this this doesn't seem to be going very well, does it? Um, shit. Well, I'll grab a torch. We'll grab all of these nades here as well. Uh, so everything that could go has gone wrong. Isn't that cute? I mean, I guess, I suppose it's, it's, it's fairly standard. Um, right. Oh, God. Let's continue. Oh, we're on 30 minutes, though. That's the thing. 
Uh, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to leave this one here because we're on 30 minutes. Um, I don't know how we've just like made a friend who is 100% human and just walking to the next area, we have somehow lost him. Uh, this guy has lost everybody, although it sounds like he's had a pretty traumatic time of it himself. But I guess we got to roll with the punches here, guys. This this mission has well and truly gone to the dogs. Or should I say, gone to the thing. <laughs> Till next time, guys.